So I just did the underwater village. And... Where's my airship? Uh, down this way. I think I need to go... Uh, yeah, honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> Let's go back to the the dragons. Oh. Ooh, I hadn't been here before. You're not yeah, you're not that big. I've killed lots of shit that looks more dangerous than you. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Because it's like different levels of a dungeon, only they're not interconnected. They are separated by these different entrances. Yeah, okay. Oh, alright. I think maybe I already did that. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's an irritating hallway. Okay, so no, I don't know what to do. I did see a guide last time I was playing that said something about no, I'm going to have to look it up, because I'm not going to want to spend a lot of time roaming around like an idiot while I got the camera on. Just didn't want me to park on the swamp-looking space. Yeah. I'm only here to take your shit. It's a weird layout. Yep, fight. Nothing here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. Oh, God, I can't believe I didn't remember this. There was a village. I picked up Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone. And there was a village out here that nobody was speaking anything I could understand. I think this was it. So, I just had to... Really, I gotta go... I think this is the village I'm supposed to go to. Since I got the Rosetta Stone, maybe I can understand them now. I guess it's really not that far of a walk, but it does certainly feel like it when you're flying over top. Yeah, this is it, here. Luf... Didn't I pick up the Rosetta Stone? Yeah. Uh, I figured this would help me translate their bullshit language. We're all saying the same thing. Maybe there's a person, one person here I have to talk to. Even though they're all saying the exact same thing. Get out of the fucking way. Keep going. <sighs> Can't get in in any of these buildings. Alright, so I was wrong. That's what I get for saying I'm going to look it up and then not looking it up and just assuming I knew what to do. 
out. <laughs> Alright, so I looked it up. I gotta go back to where I was. Also looks like there might be a house out here. Oh yeah, I was already here one night. Let me go outside and then in through this other door. <laughs> Alright, maybe I need to do this. Oh shit, you're getting the fights on the river. Forgot about that. This looks suspicious. For no good reason. Uh, maybe I should have taken that land route. <laughs> there it is, there we go. Waterfall Cavern. God. Green Dragon. Dies with one hit. Why do they even let me speak to these things? Because I feel like I'm going to miss something if I don't talk to them. But they never say anything. Like, I'm gonna run into a bat that actually speaks. Nightmare! The unicorn is a nightmare, and it dies easy. I think I might... Maybe I... Perhaps I did something out of sequence here. Yeah, maybe I did something out of sequence, because this dungeon is entirely too easy. So far, at least. The enemies are just falling before me. I wouldn't have thought that... Well, I mean, the Final Fantasy games are not typically known for having any kind of non-linearity to their games. Hello. Um... Okay, let's just see if we can do this. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies, and then none of them have proven to be powerful so far. But there are a bunch of them. So let's... maybe this will just get the fight over quicker. <laughs> And it did. Tiamat Flying Fortress? Warp Cube! Okay. Thanks. Up, oh, he's dead. Up. Oh, oh, he's a robot. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. That's a lot of money. Ooh, a ribbon. Wizard Staff. Money. Money. It's Defender. Look at Defender. Wizard Staff. Awesome. Defender, though. What the fuck is Defender? Defender. Defender. Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. Alright. Not, uh, not much more powerful than what I have, but there's no elemental aspect to it. Alright. Um, I guess that's the end of the dungeon. Some weird noises and talking coming from the other room. Now, as I'm recording this, it's 3.30 a.m. 
so nobody's awake and it, it all freaks me out so I I wander over there and I find the Roomba robot vacuum is just zipping around the, the house so uh, I got a uh, about two three months ago three months ago I was thinking about getting a new cat and one just sort of shows up it's a little uh, kitten maybe three or four weeks old or so at the time just sort of shows up and it's like oh all right well this cat was clearly abandoned by somebody because he was hungry but like even a hungry cat even a kitten at that age that's not used to people will flee from them this one didn't flee let me pick him up basically adopted this little bugger and say he loves attention like a lot of cats do and he seems to have found it with the Roomba. <laughs> well, chases this damn thing around. Constantly, like, clawing at it and playing with it and all that. It's funny, though, because when it's not running, because it's got, it's one of those ones with the charging base station. It'll wander back to its charging station, and it'll plug itself in, and it'll just sit there. And then this cat will go over when he's bored and start standing on it and he'll wander around on it until he um, he'll wander around on it until it turns on when he'll step on the button the big button on the top and it'll turn on and then it, as it zips around the house he'll he'll swat at it and he'll play with it so <laughs> it's just the uh, I mean, I, I'm just burning up minutes to make the episode a little bit longer as I'm leaving the dungeon. <laughs> That's why I'm telling this story. But he... <laughs> I got a photo that I took of him, like, yesterday or the day before or something. Where the battery was dead. It had wandered out into the room and couldn't find its way back to its base station. So it just kept wandering around until the battery died. And I find him lying down on top of it. Now, cat's faces aren't particularly expressive. But if I could ever say a cat looked depressed, <laughs> this one did. Like he, was de like he was lying down on top of it, depressed that his friend Roomba won't wake up. Anyway, that's <laughs> here's the exit. Let me get the hell out of here. So, let's... Uh, get out of here. <laughs> anyway, that's... Come on with the fights. The Roomba stopped. I don't hear it anymore. It must have shut off. What was I doing? Um, the internet told me to go back to Melmond, which I think is in this town all the way up here. Is this... No, this is Gaia. Where the hell is Melmond? <laughs> I don't know. Is this not it? Melmon. This was not Melmon. That was not Melmon. Uh, it may be over this way. Melmon! Alright, so there's somebody in here that will do some shit with the stuff that I got. These people look so damn depressed. There was somebody up north, wasn't there? Ah, there's a bridge.
Wizard dude? Shit, I don't know. Oh, here's somebody. He looks important. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Luna... The, uh, whatever language. Yes, just teach me a new language after you took ten seconds to learn it. <laughs> Why are you doing this all in a day? There! Oh, I can speak a whole new language! Shit! All those years learning Russian. <laughs> all I had to do was talk to this idiot and he would have taught me whatever language I needed as long as I gave him, gave him a friggin' uh, pronunciation guide. Anyway, uh, what is this? Uh, we're like 15 minutes or so. 16 minutes, so that'll end the episode. Thanks for watching.